I'm going to be covering Candace Owens a lot on my program. I really like her thoughts, and I believe she is a good representation for black women. Here is a clip of Candace Owens talking about welfareism and the black community. Right. Like despite the fact that there's been trillions of dollars since um, the establishment of welfare, black Americans are poorer today than we were before it. Ooh, it's kind of deep, huh? They're giving us all this money, but we're actually poorer than we were prior to this. Let's keep it going. This is Candace Owens on The Breakfast Club. People don't know this, but during the time of Jim Crow, before welfare was established in the 1950s, black Americans were actually outpacing white Americans in this country in terms of economic growth. And the reason for that was because our families were together. Ooh, I'm going to stop it right there. So back in the day when racism was supposedly at its highest, we were doing better. Black folks were doing much better. And why is that? Because our families were staying together. I'm going to discuss this until my nose falls off. The importance of black fathers staying together in the home the importance of black fathers not going around everywhere and just dropping your ghetto seed into some chick and then expecting her to take care of the kid and raise them in this crazy world we were doing so much better back when the family stayed together back then 1950s nine out of ten black fathers were in the home I have friends who are 20, 25 years my senior, and they tell me of a time where almost everyone on their block had a father. Every black kid had a father. If a kid didn't have a father back then in the 1960s, 1970s, that was seen as weird. Now, fast forward to today. Seven out of 10 black kids are living in a home out of wedlock where there is no father no husband seven out of ten what happened how did that happen i'll tell you how it happened government is now the baby daddy yes you can have all of the the government will give you whatever you need miss lady but you know what you got to kick tyrone out of the house they started this to supposedly help us. And here we are, what, 60, 70 years later, and we're in a worse position now than we were back then. But let's continue with Candace Owens right here on The Breakfast Club, breaking it down nicely. We had good values. The government only wants to give you the bare minimum. But where's the rest of the money? Mm -hmm. Where is it going? They sign these bills making you think that this money is going to you. It's not. They are stealing from the American people. That's why I don't mm -hmm. think, I, that's why I think if you're black, you shouldn't be beholden to any political party. I, Democrat I, or Republican. Right. I mean, I, I. Right now, if you're black, I truly believe that. You should not hold yourself to any political party. Unfortunately, 80 to 90 percent of you black folks listening to my voice right now no matter what you're still gonna vote democrat we need to make them work for our vote i've said this a hundred thousand times and i'll say it a hundred thousand more if you don't like it hit that unsubscribe button black people need to stop automatically voting democrat just because your mom and dad voted democrat just because their mom and dad might have voted democrat do not fall into that trap. Get off the plantation. I think that any concept of saying that I am a Republican forever, a Democrat forever is a nonsense. You know, you should always look at the candidates that are running and any person that is running saying that they want to grow government is your enemy. Pay attention. Why would you want to grow government? You want to grow the people. And that's what scares me about the Democrat Party is they want to make government bigger they want a bigger baby daddy they want to be papa and and mama la did you guys see that drew barrymore crap the other day where she she was talking to kamala harris and she said we need a mama la in this country first of all drew barrymore I, she can she can get it like i would bang her especially back in her charlie's angels days but when it comes to politics uh i i don't want to hear what you have to say whatsoever especially if you're going to tell kamala harris the biggest joke of a joke of a vice president we've ever had next to dan quayle 
you're going to tell her we need a mamala? So we got a baby daddy for the government and now we got a mamala? Nah, dog, I ain't, I ain't feeling that whatsoever. Go check out that Drew Barrymore crap where she told Kamala that. There's clips all over YouTube. Why do you think people give you a lot of backlash for questioning people and having questions? I see all the time with Charlemagne. If we question something that Kamala Harris did or question something that Joe Biden did or, or question somebody that's Democrat did, why do you think uh, our people have so much backlash when you ask so many questions? Because black people are scared of the truth. That's an, that's an easy one. Black people are afraid of the truth. And most of us don't want to look in the mirror and accept the fact that a lot of the problems that are in our community, they are problems that can be solved by our community. But instead, we're waiting for baby daddy government and mamala to bail us out and to take care of us. All of the problems that go on in the black community, we can solve them to Tomorrow. You know how? Men, stop bouncing after you drop your seed. Oh, but no, no, no. Now, this ain't... I ain't letting the women off the hook now. Black women, y'all need to stop spreading your legs and letting these dudes drop their seeds inside of you. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If that man has two kids by two baby mamas, do not let him stick his penis inside of you. If he has two kids by two different baby mamas and he has any visible tattoos that he can't cover up with a work shirt, I'm talking about lipstick marks on the neck, a flower on, on his head that used to have his baby mama name, but now they're broken up, so he put a flower over it. If he has any of that, any of that, do not let him stick his unit inside of you. Well, because I think that they don't realize that they've been manipulated against their own interests. And a lot of it is, you know, when you start telling the truth, you become a problem to the establishment. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. And if this is your first time joining the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you like what you are hearing. But I definitely need to, you need you to at least hit that like button. It's so important for you to just to smash that like button for me. Smash it, smash it, Hulk smash it, man. That really helps the algorithm and that, that helps get my voice out there because I am shadow banned for sure. I am one of those voices, ladies and gentlemen, that they don't want you to hear. Please, speaking of that, speaking of censorship and all that, please download the Rumble app, R-U-M-B-L-E, the Rumble app, R-U-M-B-L-E, and subscribe to Dusty Vision TV, all one word, Dusty Vision TV. Please subscribe to my channel on Rumble. I'm trying to go over there and really blow that channel up. All right. And also, please uh, subscribe to my second channel right here on YouTube, Dusty Vision Radio. Right here on YouTube, Dusty Vision Radio. Please subscribe to that channel. I'm at almost 3,000 subscribers now, and I'm just about to get that bad boy monetized, and I'm going to be dropping a lot of stuff over at Dusty Vision Radio on YouTube. If you are on, Inst excuse me. If you are on Instagram, please subscribe to me on Instagram dusty vision radio on instagram and if you are on facebook please 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 follow me dusty vision tv i thank each and every one of you i'll talk to you soon peace